Now, I'm not one normally to get excited about the looks of a running shoe because we all know it comes down to performance and the aesthetics of my shoes is definitely not top of the list. However, I do think the new 002 trail running shoe from Norda is a fantastic looking shoe. And I think the guys have done a great job when it comes to the design and the colorway. So we're gonna give you a few facts and figures today. We're gonna to break down that construction in a bit more detail. And then obviously we're gonna be getting out and hitting the trails and finding out if these perform as good as they look. Welcome back folks, hope everybody is fit and well out there and thanks for tuning in again. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So it is my favorite day of the week again and it's always exciting when you get to take new trail running shoes out for their first run because you never know what you're gonna get when it comes to feel, comfort, fit and performance. But also, we're heading to one of my favourite testing grounds today. So up on the North Cliffs of Cornwall to Hiddy Wood. So we should be in for a good run today. So if you haven't come across the Norda brand before, they're a relatively new trail running brand coming out of Canada. And they've been making some big waves in the running world with the use of some very sustainable technical fabrics and materials. I actually tested out a collaboration 001 shoe from them with Satisfy and Norda last year. Uh, I've got to say it, I wasn't sure about the whole shoe to start with, but the more I ran in it, the more time I spent in it, the more I grew to like it, and the shoe actually bedded in really well. There was one thing that didn't really work out for me, and that was the, the lack of structure in the heel counter. You could literally fold the back of the shoe into the upper, and it just didn't feel like it gave me that sort of nice, secure feel I want in the back end of my running shoes. Anyway, that's enough about that because I'm sure you're all waiting to hear about the exciting new Norda 002. So the guys at Norda have designed this shoe to be their lighter, more responsive option in their trail running shoe lineup with this lower stack height on the midsole. So you should feel more connected underfoot, allowing you to go out and attack and run quickly over super technical trails but feel very confident while you're doing it. Now, if you're looking for a super affordable trail running option, then the Norda brand probably isn't gonna be for you because the new 002 retails for 295 Canadian dollars. So that means it's retailing in the UK for around about 240 pounds. Like I've already mentioned, this is the lighter, more stripped back option when you compare it to the 001s. Actually weighs in at a pretty light 290 grams in a UK 10. So yep, I've gone up half a size in this from my normal UK 9.5 and the length feels spot on. We've got a four mil heel offset and that gives you a stack height of 19 mil under your heel and 15 mil under your forefoot. So that midsole is definitely going to put you closer to the ground when you compare it to the more deeply cushioned 001. Okay, moving on to the construction, and I think this is where it gets really exciting because Nordy used some very interesting fabrics and materials in the construction of the 002. So first up, that upper material is constructed using a bio-based Dyneema, and Dyneema just so happens to be one of the strongest fibers in the world. Uh, so as well as being durable, lightweight, and highly breathable, because it's bio-based, it's also super sustainable. So should be a really good fabric to construct a trail running shoe out of and I actually really enjoyed how it performed on the 001s. We've got a pretty thin gusseted tongue design and I've got to be honest I do tend to like a bit of padding in the tongue of my trail running shoes but Norda have worked in this little bit of protection in the form of this sort of high-vis logoed up lace holder so that just stopped the laces digging into the top of my foot. We've got some real substantial overlays going on so starting at the heel working along that midfoot and then finishing up wrapping around that toe box and Norda have actually doubled up that overlay giving you a nice toe bump just to offer you a little bit more protection when you're out on the trails. And finishing up, we got some nice reinforcement around that lacing system for a bit of extra durability. And we've got lots of reflective details. So all these lines running down the shoe, they're high vis. We've also got some stripes on the toe box. We've got that tongue patch that I've already mentioned. And we've got a strip down the center of that heel cup. So when you're running at night, these should light up like a Christmas tree, giving you that extra element of safety. 
Moving down to that new lower profile midsole, and I'm not sure whether you can pick it up on camera there, but we've got the name Vibram on that midsole. Now, we've come to know the Vibram brand for creating super sticky rubber compound on the bottom of our trail running shoes, but Norda have actually teamed up with them and used their SLE foam compound in the midsole of their running shoes. And this was definitely one of the standout features on the 001 when I tested them out on the channel. It offered me a really good balance between comfort connection and performance and it just seemed to get better and better over time so I've got real high hopes for this new midsole and flipping the shoe over you can see that we've got that little yellow logo of joy so the 002 has a full Vibram Mega Grip light base outsole now if you've had Mega Grip on your trail running shoes before you'll know all about how grippy it is when you're running on rocky or wet rocky trails but this is actually the light based version so not only do you have have all those sticky properties but it also offers a big weight saving compared to that standard mega grip compound uh, this was another standout feature for me on the 001s the outsole performed really well super grippy on the rocks but also giving me a deep enough lug depth that it actually offered great levels of traction in muddy situations and I almost forgot to mention that this time round in the 002 Norda have actually worked in a good level of structure in the back end of the shoe from the form of a nice substantial heel cradle so I can't fold that heel into the upper anymore so I should feel a lot more secure in the back end of the shoe so very excited to see how that fits feels and performs out on today's run so there you have it folks the rather sexy looking 002 uh, I don't know, can we call a running shoe sexy? Is that a little bit weird? I don't know, but it is a great looking trail running shoe, that's for sure. I'm sure you guys have heard me waffle on enough now, so now's the time to go and get changed, get these laced up and get running. So we'll see you guys into Hiddy Woods. Okay, so we have made it into Tahiti Woods and it's been a while since I've been here and I can't believe the amount of tree cover we've got now. With all this sunny weather in Cornwall, the trees really have flourished. Uh, if you haven't seen one of our first impressions in Tahiti, this is a great testing ground. We've literally got every type of underfoot conditions you could possibly imagine. So we're gonna hopefully get in sort of 10K, seven miles today. So let's crack on with the run. Okay, so we're making good progress. We're just over three miles into the run. It's pretty muggy out here today, that's for sure. But the first thing we have to talk about is the fit of this new Norda 002, or should I say the improved fit? Because I can't quite believe the difference that that more structure in the back end of the shoe, that more supportive heel cradle has made. It really is a night and day difference. I actually feel that the whole shoe is fitting better. So I'm not sure whether it's a bit narrower in fit compared to the 001s, but great hold around my midfoot. Still got some nice wiggle room in the toe box, but the fit of the shoe feels very precise on my foot shape. So I am a happy boy because the lack of structure in the heel on the 001s was one of my pet hates about the shoe and I pretty much got on with everything else. So yeah, first impressions are going good so far. The fit has definitely been improved, but let's crack on with the run. With it almost being officially summer here in the UK, I thought I would crack out a bit of Say Sky floral print for today's run. So we've got their combat tee and one of their caps on. You've got to love a bit of flower print on your running kit.
Lovely bit of running back there, lots of tree roots, quite technical, so a real good test out for the shoe. And the run is going well. We've ticked over five miles already. And I've got to say it, Norda claimed to have designed this shoe to be more nimble, more responsive, and to feel more connected when you're running on more technical trails. And I can hands down say, they've definitely achieved that. That vibrant midsole feels great. You know, it's got that great balance again, a connection and performance. So enough cushioning that it feels nice and comfortable when you pick up the rocky sections or the compacted trails or the dreaded tarmac. But then you've definitely got more feel through that lower profile midsole than the 001. It's a great combination. And even though it is more stripped back and closer to the ground, protection levels feel good. So like I say, you're more connected, but it's still super comfy. So yeah, loving that new midsole. And this first impressions run is going really well. It's like running in a pair of old slippers. I love it. It's been lovely out in the woods, seeing lots of wildlife, ducks, swans, loads of squirrels, and even the elusive blue jay. I did try and capture it on camera for you guys at home, but he just didn't want to sit still too long, so I couldn't get it. But we've got a couple more miles to go, and then we can head back to the adventure bus. Okay, well that was perfect timing because it's just started to rain but had an awesome run, what 7.3 miles in the legs, body feeling good, shoe feeling good. So let's get back to the studio and we're going to break down how the Norda 002 performed on its first run. Well, I'd almost forgotten what it's like to have rain here in the UK after a nice, long, warm, dry spell. But I did get that really sort of nostalgic smell towards the end of the run. You know, when we've had lots of warm weather and then the rain hits the ground and it really did remind me of those long, hot summers we used to get when I was a kid. I almost forgot as well that you get this very nice sort of matching uh, dust bag with the shoes. But let's get back to how the Norda 002 trail shoe performed out on today's run. So you can probably already tell from all the positivity today that I really enjoyed my experience running in this model for the first time. I know it was just our first run, but over the years I've tested, running and reviewed lots of different shoes from lots of different brands. And I get a really good idea from that first outing if a particular model is gonna work well for me. And I can see myself racking up a lot of miles in these this summer. I have to say it, I definitely prefer these to the 001s and that's not saying that I didn't get on with that shoe because I actually grew to like it and I put a lot of miles into them but with this massive improvement in fit and holding the heel from the added structure into the upper it really is a game changer for me and it's just so 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 much better uh, also Norda have added for me just the right level of padding around the ankle collar and in the heel and again this was something missing from the 001 so feels nice and plush wrapped around that ankle but it's not over padded and also I had my doubts about that thin gusseted tongue but I shouldn't have done it actually felt very comfortable with those laces across the top of my foot I also think I actually prefer this mid sole setup so uh, with it being a slightly lower profile you definitely notice being closer to the ground which makes it feel a little bit more nimble a little bit more responsive on the more technical areas and this is actually something I thought the midsole of the 001 did pretty well for a deeply cushioned shoe but I definitely prefer the feel of this underfoot I think the mix of this brilliant Vibram SLE foam compound paired up with the TPU insole that you get in the shoe. So very similar to the Boomerang footbeds from Innovate, which I'm a big fan of, all those excellent Power Run Plus insoles you get in some of the Socony models. And that really does make the Norda 002s feel nice and comfortable, but responsive. And I think Norda have got that sort of balance of ground connection just right. So the shoe feels super stable underfoot, but they haven't sacrificed any of the levels of comfort to achieve it. And that's a really tricky thing to do with a trail running shoe. With the outsole obviously being Vibram Mega Grip light base and having this nice chunky five mil lug layout, 
it performed well out there on today's run and it is pretty much identical to the outsole you get on the 001. So I've tested it out thoroughly on a big mix of terrain and underfoot conditions and I can say it is a solid performing outsole. So rounding up after my first test run in the new lightweight responsive 002 from Norda and I personally think the guys have done a great job, especially when you think these are only the second shoe that they developed and designed in their running shoe lineup. I also like the fact that it looks like they're listening to customer feedback, which can only be a great thing because those few issues they did have have definitely been sorted out in these and sorted out really well. Now, obviously at 240 pounds here in the UK, this is a pretty expensive option when it comes to our trail running shoes. But when I look at the materials used, the attention to detail when it comes to finishing off that construction and how it performed out there on today's run, I kind of think that price is justified. Obviously, that is depending on how durable this trail shoe is gonna be, and I guess only time will tell. So there you have it, guys, our first impression on Norda's new 002s. Obviously, I'm gonna to continue to run in the shoe, get some good miles in it, and then we'll be back with our full in-depth review. But I'd love to hear from you guys. So if you've got a pair of the new 002s, or you spent some good time in the 001s, do you think this is a sexy looking trail shoe? What do you think about the hefty 240 pounds price point? I know there's gonna be a lot of comments on this video about that because that's definitely not for everyone, but let us know all about it. Get in the comments below. We've got lots of exciting content heading your way, folks, from more shoe reviews and kit reviews, but we're also gonna start a short series very soon where we're gonna be following our progress to a race in early August. I say we because myself and Liga are both running the race and she might make the odd guest appearance in some of them episodes, which I'm sure you'll be glad to hear. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. We'll be back here very, very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running.